It's been nearly two years since Jim and Meredith Voida moved to this picturesque parcel of land from their home state of Washington. We're in a small valley here. It's very uh, agricultural, corn, soybeans, hay. And in that time, their Lodestar farm, nestled on 91 acres, has made quite a name for itself. Thanks to a special equine breed, big, beautiful horses known as Black Clydesdales, Meredith remembers seeing them for the first time on a trip through Oregon. They were so beautiful, they were so elegant and so just gorgeous running out in the pasture and we determined that we wanted to find out more about this breed. As it turns out, there are fewer than 4,000 of the Black Clydesdale breed in the U.S. In the past, these animals were considered by some to be useful only as working draft horses. Rhonda, try and push down in your heels some more. But the voiders are trying to change the perception of these gentle giants. We're pretty impressed and we like to get the word out on Clydesdales that this is something besides a plow puller. Now, do either one of you know why we groom a horse? At their Northwest Tennessee farm, the large horses are part of a program where youngsters can learn about grooming and learn to ride these large animals just as you would a much smaller breed of horse. She's doing a nice job controlling care though. Stand up in your stirrups and put your heels down. Longtime horse trainer Vicki Ayosa says she finds Clydesdales easy to work with. They're very gentle. They're, they're just your friends. They're not afraid of things. They're not going to spook at anything. They're, they're a good animal to be around, very good natured. Vicki's three daughters, Melanie, Megan, and little tiny Madison are all seasoned riders. I love just being, come, being able to come out here and just get on them and play and have a good time. When the Voidas drew up plans for their horse farm, this is what they envisioned, a place where kids and adults can interact with these gentle giants and develop a greater sense of appreciation for this rare breed. We like kids and we want to introduce people to the grandeur of the, of the beast, if you will. Every Saturday afternoon, the Voidas host an open barn at their farm. It's a chance to diversify their ranching operation, offering services from riding lessons to boarding and training. But a major focus here is also creating a profitable breeding farm, welcoming new horses to the family like Nix, their fun-loving foal. Who is clearly curious about our camera. Nix was born two weeks ago to Duchess, a protective mother who's just a bit cautious about the whole situation. She's checking us out. As Jim watches the two interact, Meredith keeps a close eye on Kimberly, a pregnant mare back at the barn. We have a responsibility to these animals. We are the ones who bought them or bred them, and we want to be sure they're healthy. Step by step and task by task, the couple has worked hard to transform their land into a functional and profitable horse farm. So there was just a ton of, of little things that weren't quite right for a horse and were just about there. All of it centered on sharing their love and appreciation of these one-of-a-kind animals. It's a horse that is gentle, has a sweet disposition, and just wants to please. 